No still water or river in the UK is safe from the Black Death, as they're known to many anglers. Cormorants remain a huge problem for fisheries and in many areas they've decimated populations of silverfish. Each cormorant needs to eat a minimum of one pound of fish every day and with their numbers increasing massively in recent years, that's an awful lot of fish. I met up with Trevor Harrop of the award-winning Avon Roach Project on the iconic Hampshire Avon and asked him about the extent of the problem. So Trev, just how bad is it? Well, we only have to look back to the 1980s in the latter part of the Avon's heyday uh, when the river was absolutely brimming with fish, uh, when cormorant numbers stood nationally at 2,000. Um, and if you fast far forward to the Environment Agency fish stock surveys of 2005, uh, which revealed a perilously no, low number of, of silverfish in the river, which is part of why the Avon Roach Project was formed in the first place, cormorant numbers nationally then stood at 23,000. 23,000. Uh, and each cormorant requiring one pound of fish, at least a pound of fish every single day. It doesn't take a genius to work out the level of conflict between silverfish uh, and fish eating birds. It's extraordinary. So is there anything that can be done about it, Trev? Well, it's difficult to believe that it's been six years since we started the, uh, the call to have the cormorant uh, licensing law change in this country. And while we have made inroads, uh, they've been fairly minor. Um, um, what we need now is a significant change um, uh, in, in this woefully inadequate licensing regime. What we actually basically want is the legal right to protect, adequately protect our vulnerable fish populations with a change in, the, in this, this inadequate licensing regime. That's the facts, that's what we need. Now since they were formed in 2009, the Angling Trust have been working on behalf of anglers and for that matter fish in the protection of our fisheries against cormorants and I'm meeting up now with the head of campaigns of the Angling Trust, Martin Salter. Martin, what's happening now? Well Keith, we're here on the Hampshire Avon. We've worked very closely with Trevor and the Avon Roach Project on, on highlighting the cormorant issue. These are birds that don't just affect rivers here in the south, they affect ponds, lakes, canals, gravel pits, reservoirs, the length and breadth of the country. It's a national problem and their numbers have exploded over the last couple of decades. To the extent that on, on, on many watercourses, roach and dace in particular have become almost endangered. And that situation cannot be allowed to carry on. We've got a unique opportunity, partly because over the last few years, we've managed to break through this 3,000 bird ceiling that, that the government set. And once we broke through that ceiling, the government ministers promised us a review of the whole cormorant licensing regime. The only way we're going to win that review, we're only, the only way we're going to make the situation better and make it easier to control bird numbers, uh, is frankly if we can get the angling community behind us, if we re can record the number of sightings that everybody sees every day when they're out fishing, all they've got to do is to go to cormorantwatch.com. That information we can use to put in front of politicians and achieve the review of the cormorant licensing situation that we were promised several years ago and hopefully make it much easier to protect our fisheries from unsustainable predation from cormorants and goosanders. Now you've probably seen devices like this on a fishery near you and they're designed to scare cormorants and they do okay. But what we're really looking for, what the Angel Trust really wants, is a means of controlling the numbers to stop them going from here to another fishery. And you can help. If you go to the cormorantwatch.com website, register your sightings, register where you see the birds, that's really going to make a massive difference. It'd also help a lot if you're not already a member, to join the Angling Trust. They're doing a wonderful job for angling, trust me. Yeah, you're doing a great job, mate. I take it you're already a member. Thanks for your help. See you again.